last but not least, I hope so. Um, we are very, very, very uh, happy to, to come here and uh, I'm, I'm, may I introduce myself. I'm uh, Samuel Bouri, CEO of Fublim, and uh, all my team in Toulouse is very happy to be there and, have, uh, and to, to, to have won uh, this uh, last chance uh, ticket. So before introducing the Blim card that you see on screen, uh, I would like to speak about my, uh, to tell you a, a little story regarding an entrepreneur, my, my life of entrepreneurs. Um, maybe uh, there are some entrepreneurs in, uh, in the room, but if you, if you uh, are uh, aware about uh, what is networking, you know that uh, there are some good parties that you can, in which you can meet interesting people, uh, brands, announcers, editors, and one year ago, when I uh, went uh, in Toulouse to a Mobile Monday, you know Mobile Monday, it's a dedicated evening uh, in which you can exchange uh, uh, between uh, consumer engagements through mobile application, etc., etc. I met very awesome people uh, working, uh, uh, or, uh, proposing uh, mobile services. And in fact, uh, when I came back uh, the day after with uh, three, four, and um, maybe five glasses of drink. I have an headache, but in front of me, lots of business cards. Uh, and, and in my memory, it was very nightmare to remember what was the interest of each people uh, behind this uh, business card. And what was the business, the pitch. And in fact, so that was a big problem because we could introduce Ublim technology on this paper because Ublim introduced a new way to augment uh, paper, augment print, using smart logos. And for that, um, it's simple. We just use the logo and the mobile application. And, but it, wasn't, uh, it was not of use for us how to introduce that. And um, when one of my team, a talented uh, team, uh, came uh, one morning and said, hey, hey uh, Sam, we have introduced augmented reality based on smart logo, our technology. Look at this. And, in fact, he put on my photo in augmented reality on the business card. And this was the beginning of uh, the story, our, and the end of this story, but the beginning of the new product we launched today in beta version called Blim Card. So may I introduce a little bit more what is a Blim Card. So let's uh, introduce uh, how to uh, uh, connect with a business card. So this is my business card. And this is a Blim on my business card. So you launch a Blim application. You can download it now because we released it uh, this morning. And you can activate your business card just using the Blim and plug your services on top of that. And afterwards, uh, you can pitch yourself. You can do lots of stuff. And it was the way we can rev revolutionize the way to connect, to make business through a simple business card. So you can showcase through your business card, your product, your business. And it was for me obvious that every people who are uh, building a startup, it's not easy to pitch. And using a, a simple piece of paper, it's easy. Another step is to make effect, to memorize, be memorized, pitch yourself, and creating a, a new effect using augmented reality that is very quick and fast, and uh, put your photo in memory of your, uh, uh, the people in, with, which, with, with who you are talking with. Uh, it's very uh, impressive. And you can catch it and save it quickly in your mobile. Uh, on top of that, for sure, where are your cards? You can monitor them, because using the mobile application, you track your cards. So it's new. We have two hours to prepare this pitch, but you have all the time to go to blimcard.com and to subscribe to our beta version. Only for the, the 1,000 users who will subscribe today, tomorrow, and coming days. For the business model, it's simple. Ublim is uh, introducing a smart logo for brands. So they, they pay for that. But for the Blim card, it's free. It's free. You can prepare your Blim card today, tomorrow. And for partners, we bring some revenue stream because we provide to printers and designers some leads. And regarding additional features and, and services we can put on top of your business card, we got a premium subscription 
that uh, enable to plug your CRM or all your uh, business process. So, convince, start now. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Why don't you come over and join us here? And, and I would say, if, uh, learning, I think, at, at 1 o'clock that you would be on stage at uh, 5 o'clock, uh, that's a pretty good uh, message that you should always be ready to pitch. So congratulations for that. And let's turn to our judges' questions. So just drive us through the process. If I want this on my card, what do I need to do? Is there a studio online I create uh, um, my own presence, my own? Yeah. You go on the platform. It's, uh, it's a SaaS, a software online. You can uh, go through the studio, inside your, in, uh, insert your logo, and generate itself the Blim, the smart logo, and you plug it to your uh, printer tools or to your online printer, uh, et cetera. Et cetera. And then the user needs to download a certain app in order to operate this. Yes, this is our strategy to, to offer the service that can enable to vir viralize uh, and develop our uh, user base of the uh, mobile application. So you write on your card, download your Blim app, and you make the pinch on your business card. Hello. Uh, what, what would prevent um, early entrants into the AR space, like LayR, uh, for example, to, to do this? Is there something specific about uh, this segment that somebody that does AR for magazines, for example, mm -hmm. would not be able to do this? We, we take the best of coding and image recognition because we use a, a shape recognition that is patented. And we optimize that to provide a very fast augmented experience that less than five seconds, whatever the database is, because it's very uh, optimized to provide and to recognize in the mobile application. So it's very fast compared to pure uh, image recognition players like that. So I mean, this is, uh, I guess, an alternative to a QR code. Hmm? Um, and so the I mean, QR code don't look great. Okay, my logo might look great, but let's say I'm IBM, so I've got a great logo, mm -hmm. but you know, there is a, a zillion people working for IBM, so how would you address that kind of need where it's not just you know, a small company or an entrepreneur with his pitch, but it's a larger corporation, there is one logo, and obviously there are many different uh, um, you know, case, case, user cases. Yeah, but um, we try to open our, um, I would say, IP uh, and provide SDK to provide uh, white label services for large companies. But we have to make integrity regarding the user because if we have, he has to scan with the Ublim app uh, one IBM logo and it accesses to a different experience than using the IBM application, uh, it will be a mess, like uh, we saw in the, in the past uh, using data matrix or whatever uh, other uh, uh, uncoded uh, identification uh, code. So um, for the large companies, we dedicate uh, a specific business model that is different from, uh, I would say, our premium model. And uh, we discuss uh, with them to uh, offer our API SDK and uh, build a stronger uh, data-based knowledge uh, for their um, for their users. But, but now the SDK solved the issue of one logo with 130,000 employees now, no. Microsoft, Nokia, you know, bigger uh, so this is, uh, Sorry, I did not catch. Um, sorry that's... for that. Yes, uh, this is um, exactly why the Blim is interesting because you can generate billions of different codes using the same logo. So you can drive different experiences, uh, CRM, uh, subscription, uh, online payments using the same logo, but uh, addressing different uh, but, but services. How? how? We have one logo. I'm not allowed to change the logo if I want to. So how, how does the system Microsoft accommodate really for... Microsoft, yeah, Microsoft logo. I can't change the Microsoft logo. I'm not allowed okay. to. I, I try, believe me. And, and <laughs> okay. I, get, I get our brand people shout every time and again. Mm. What do I do? There's one logo. No. <clears throat> In fact, the, the, the smart logo is using the logo, the design-based logo, uh, and we add a shape on top of that with some coding system. So you can derive a uh, logo with billions of different smart logos. So you, you change a little bit the logo, but not visually. You, you add on top of that some coding, some it's information. Interesting idea. Yeah. You change the logo a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you turn this into a network so that it's not just a you know, like an interesting 
application, but how do you make sure that people, that all the people that um, you know have downloaded the app are incented to keep coming back and get some advantage and attract more people? You're uh, talking about retention of a user yeah. inside the application. Yeah, how, how do you create a network effect? Or well, maybe, maybe you don't, but I'm, I'm just curious about how you go beyond just the tool aspect and turn this into something that becomes essential to your life where you're constantly sort of attracted. Yes, that is exactly what uh, we are, uh, why we are putting in this uh, product that is an individual, a focus on individual marketing support, the business card. And uh, for that, uh, we will add on top of that, I would say, such as a wallet that can collect all experiences uh, user as, uh, uh, as checked using, as scanned using uh, Ublim technology and uh, pushing some information that will re uh, add some added value inside the application. But the application is fun. It's, uh, the design is engaging. Peop uh, brands are coming to us because they tested the QR code and they, they observe the low audience of this media. So we, we bet on the fact that we can open this augmented reality channel. This is the way we would like to re revolutionize the way to connect physical and digital with a more engaging and fun stuff. And maybe we could add gaming aspect from that. And we are, we are thinking about that, which is a little bit more strategic. OK. We are at the end of our time. Thank you very much. And again, Big congratulations please. to becoming our 16th company. We really appreciate you being here.